Hi there, it's Lisa Stoops from lisastoops.com and welcome to another video training. Today's training is going to be all about how to host your own webinar with Google Hangouts for free. And I'm going to show you how to do it in just 10 simple steps. So this training will be perfect for those of you who do not have the budget right now to buy webinar software instead and and maybe you don't really want to invest in that yet because you don't know if you're going to actually continue on with webinars so this is a great way to tell whether or not webinars are good for you and good for your business so um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through the 10 steps and then I'm going to show you exactly how to do it because I know the first time that I did it, I was really confused. So hopefully this video tutorial will help you walk you through the steps quicker and much easier than when I tried to figure it out in the beginning. All right, so step one is you're going to pick a date and a time. So you just pick a date and a time, you don't have to do anything. Now this process that I'm going to show you is very manual and that's why it can be very beneficial to sign up with something like Webinar Jam or Webinar Ignition, those type of, of webinar softwares because this, all of these things will be automated. But if you have the time and you want to trial webinars in your business and you don't want to fork out a bunch of money yet, then you're going to have to do these manual things first. So, so the first thing you're going to do is pick a date and a time. Then step two, you are going to set up your pages. So you're going to have to set up a few things. First, you're going to set up your opt-in squeeze page. That's your opt-in form. That's your webinar registration form. It's where you're going to send everybody to when you're promoting your webinar before um, they actually get on the call or anything like that, you definitely want to make sure that you have this opt-in form set up so that you can capture the emails of the people who register for your webinar. So then once they give you your email address, then you're, you, they will be taken to a thank you page that says, you know, reiterates the date, the time, you know, what it's going to be about, thank you so much, share it with friends or maybe add it to your Google Calendar or whatever. Um, your thank you page will have um, more information about, you know, maybe a video of you explaining what you're going to teach about and, you know, things like that. So you'll have to have those two pages. Then the third page that you're going to have to create is obviously the very important webinar page. Now this is going to be the page where you have like your headline of what the, the webinar is about and then the video underneath and then maybe a chat box or a comment box, something like that. You can use chat roll and have your um, attendees uh, type into the chat box like that. So then number four, you are going to uh, create your auto responder messages. So step four is going to be really literally like outlining what you're going to say and when to them. So the first email you're going to create is a welcome and what you can expect and when, reminder of when, you know, when the show is going to start, when the event will be. And then you're going to want to send them, depending on how long you are actually promoting, like let's say you are promoting for a week. You would, uh, let's say you started a week, you know, you have seven days before your webinar. You would send a reminder email maybe three days after um, people sign up and then maybe two days later you would send them a reminder again and then um, or depending I mean it really depends maybe you have a, only a three to five day window so what you want to do is just make sure that you re send out an email that reminds them the day of and maybe even the day before so um, it's up to you how many emails you want to actually send out but definitely on the day of send out a reminder that it's starting in two hours or one hour something like that give them a heads up let them know um, that the events gonna start soon so then after your webinar you're gonna wanna create a thank you email saying thank you for attending you know if you if you missed this then here's the replay um, this is what we talked about this is what's going on and I offer this very special deal or this you know special offer and you only have until three days you know to to grab it and so then you'll want to also send out a final email reminding them to grab the offer that you promoted on the webinar 
So, I mean, that's just a basic gist. And of course, you can create your own autoresponder messages in whatever sequence you feel that will work for your audience. But that's just the basics. So you'll want to create at least, you know, four to five emails that will go out over the course of about 10 days. So that would be step number four. And, and you're going to have to do that anyway, regardless if, you know, you have a, um, if you pay for software or not. So step number five is going to be all about adding your opt-in form to your opt-in page. Now, of course, this is really important, right? You can't start promoting until you, you have your opt-in form um, added into your actual squeeze page. Okay, this is where they give you your email address. So then, step number six, you're going to start promoting. You haven't even done anything yet regarding your webinar page. You just have everything set up because you don't need to do anything until you actually start your event. So you can start promoting right away. You can nail down that date, create your autoresponder messages, you know, create your pages, and just start promoting it like crazy. And of course, you can promote it in so many different ways. You can ask other people, peers, to promote for you. Uh, maybe if they're affiliates, you can have them um, promote. And, and you can, um, of course, my favorite is Facebook ads. You can drive traffic that way. If you're a part of Facebook groups or any groups anywhere, you can um, let them know about it in those groups. Um, go wherever your market is and just really connect with people there. Step number seven is going to be the actual creating of the event. So you're going to go into Google Plus and you're going to actually create the event and um, create the Google Hangout on-air session, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Once you create the event, you'll be able to get an, a URL that will, um, in, or actually it's a piece of code, it's not just a URL, it's a piece of code where you can embed the video onto your webinar page. This is obviously extremely important piece of the puzzle. You have to make sure that this is in place before you start your webinar. So at the time of time of event, step number nine, you're going to want to just get everything in position and get ready, take a deep breath, and then hit the start button. You can also on this page, um, before you start, hit the start button, you can enable the chat or the applause or, or whatever you might want to enable on to uh, like little add-ons for the webinar. And I'll show you that as well in just a moment. And then finally, number 10, you're going to hit the green button to begin your broadcast. And the cool thing is you don't have to forget to push the recording button, which has happened many times before to myself as well, totally forgetting to hit the recording button and getting halfway through your webinar and realizing that um, you weren't recording. <laughs> that is the worst thing that can happen, really. So I'm going to take you into Google Plus, and here we are in the Google Plus. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can, what you would do. Okay, so here we are in just the Google Plus page, and I'm going to show you what you do. You want to go, you can go into events, or you can go into Hangouts. Either one will do. And so what you're going to do is you could hit plan, um, plan a hangout, I believe, but I just rather create an event or actually what you can do is just, let's see, I think it all, it creates it all at once anyway. So just go to hangouts, go to hangouts on air. Okay. Start a hangout on air, give it a name. Now, if you're going to experiment, this actually is live. So I would experiment with maybe somebody you know, so that you know it's going to show up <laughs> on their page or, or whatnot, saying that you have a, a test webinar. So be careful there. Um, you want to do it later, test webinar, and let's see. I'm going to put it at uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, and then um, you're going to put in your audience. It could be public and people who are in your circles that are important to you. Um, for the duration and then you can just go ahead and share and this is going to bring up an event page. This is your webinar page right here and this will give you all the information. This is going to be your page so you could actually 
promote this page as well. This is your event page. Okay, so what you would do is make sure this is detailed. You know, make sure you have um, what you need here in the details. But here's the important part. This is where you get your your video embed code. Not just URL. I said URL in the slides, but I meant the whole code right here. So then what you're going to do is you don't have to do anything with this page yet. What you're going to do is just promote this page because when you're ready at the time of your event, you're going to push this start button here. And this is where if you want to turn on answers and questions, you can do that here. If you want to turn on the applause, you can do it right here. So you can click that and it will enable the app that will allow people to answer or to, to ask questions. So once you have your code, you're going to want to go to your workshop page. And I happen to use uh, lead pages. And this would be my background here. And I would just click on the video here and I would just paste it in. This would be my code. And then I would hit save. And then what I'm going to do is go to my actual page and refresh and the video link should or the video should pop up where it didn't have anything there before it's now there so it's ready to go as soon as I start to hit the go button we will be live so then what I would do is at the time of the event I'm just gonna go to my event page and I'm gonna hit the start button then you're gonna get a big old box popping up with your picture and you're going to be able to invite specific people too. You can skip that. And then um, you're going to just wait for it to load. You want to make sure like before you even go on air, you're going to want to make sure that your video, that your microphone, everything is connected properly. And then you can just take a look at the things that you got on the side here that can help you. This is the screen share so if you want to show your your screen you can do that. Here's the chat box. Question and answers. This allows people to ask you questions. Okay so then what you're gonna do is you're all ready, you're set. It's a time of event. Um, you just can take a few minutes to check everything because you're not live yet. And then you're gonna hit start broadcast and it'll tell you you're gonna go live and you will be live and you know your video will come up your screen will come up if you have the you know the the proper things in place and it'll be all set and ready to go so hopefully this tutorial helped you realize that you can really you know get webinars going if you don't have the budget yet or if you know you're not ready to to make that leap because you're not sure if webinars are really the the best idea for your business so go ahead and give google hangouts on air a try for your webinars and let me know how you do